Hello party people, it's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendant. Welcome to the Sawflex Mystery Kit Making Video. <laughs> We're going to try to make something out of these beads here. Let's get down to the mat, get this part started. Okie dokie party people, in true Randy fashion, we're just dumping things on the mat. Uh, cause that's what we're doing. <laughs> I work better in chaos, is the moral of this story. So let's get our beads out here, and let's see what we can do. First and foremost, I know that I want to make a pendant out of this guy here. I don't know if I want to incorporate the bird or not. Maybe I do. Or maybe I want to use the bird charm. Maybe the bird charms are better. Let's give her a whirl. Throw in some feathers. Why not? Birds of a feather, as they say. Maybe we want to make earrings with two of those. Okay. Alrighty, right. Okay. So. That's. I'm thinking, do we need some chain for this? Or are we going to use the wire? I think we... Mm, I think for this part, we better have... Let's see what kind of wire I got down here. I got 22 gauge smoky quartz. That'll work. Winter is having some kind of time upstairs. Don't mind her. She's upset. Upsetty spaghetti she is, I guess. Alright, um, I kind of want to use a little bit of chain. Let me see if I got some chain rolling around over here. What do I got? What do I got? Uh, some red bars. Let's see. Do I got any bronze in here? I got some gold. Oh, I'm still looking. There we go. Here's some stuff. Ooh, teal. Look at this. Would you just look at that? It might work out kind of perfectly. And let's have just some regular bronze. I keep saying like that, like it's going to appear if I keep saying it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our, let's get our pendant going. First things first, and then we will move on to the stringing portion. Okay, so I am adding a little bit of chain here. I'm just going to cut this into a few little pieces. Nothing too crazy. And let's do a couple of these guys here. Is there rhyme or reason to that? No, there is. going on let's have a little bit of jump rings uh, bronze or gold I feel like either way could go could, could be fine there's a little oval bronze okay so 
the plan here is we might need to wire up a couple of beads. Let's do that. Make a head pin. So we could use a ball head pin for this, but we've kind of got this kind of rustic situation going on. So I'm going to go with the the wire wrap head pin. And we're going to want to do a bead. Oh, which one? Let's do one of these square ones, huh? And do we have any spacers in this outfit? Do not appear like we do. Let me grab some out of the room here. gold and a little bit of bronze. A little bit of both. These two, I kind of like the bumpiness of these ones. Let's see how that goes. Kind of giving me like pine cone vibes. And then we got some spacers. Always got to have a little metal, right? So, let me add a little metal to this. <clears throat> I'm just going to wire wrap this up. doesn't have to be super put together as this is kind of a messy situation anyway. Push this. Oh! Pushed you too much. Put this wire in on the bottom. Come here, you. You guys, it's one of them beating days. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to add my birds and things to this chain of what is happening with these birds. That one's got something inside of it. Okay. Mm 
Okay, all three birds are on. Now we have these little peel guys, and I can attach them on to the chain as well. And I may put a few of these little berries or whatever they look like uh, throughout the necklace, so. I'm going to put on my feathers. Okay, put on our charm. And I gotta come up with one more bird because my one bird had an issue. So it looks a little better. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the tops of these uh, gold ones, I need to put a jump ring on because they're not quite big enough to be how I want them to be. So I'm going to add a jump ring here. So now we have our twig here, <clears throat> and I'm feeling like we're just going to wire wrap around it. I got about a foot and maybe three inches. Uh, it's about 15 inches of wire. I don't know if we'll need that much, but that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to start... I'm making just a little loop right here. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in kind of around this little knot on the log here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> So I'm just going to wrap this around. And it can be messy. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. And then what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to grab up a piece of this chain and I'm going to wrap again. And as I start to wrap, I'm going to kind of move over. Okay, so let me get these pieces of chain and show you what I'm doing here. So, I'm going to wrap, I'm going to leave some space there. And I'm going to put another one, probably maybe one of the gold ones. Because it can be messy. That's kind of the point here. Trying to get in between there. Around in between the wire. Apparently the children are out of school. Did you hear all that? Yeah. <sighs> Hold on. Alright, so once we got all these wrapped up here. This is my last one. I'm going to leave these sticking straight up. like so for the moment because I haven't quite decided on what exactly it is that I want to do yet so let's take a look see um I guess we could go into the bird that could be cute take a look at one of these bead covers Okay, so to finish up, basically what we're going to do is just wrap this around. Make sure everything is in place the way we want it to be. And then I'm going to do some wire wraps on the top. Now I'm debating what I want to put here on the top. Do I want to put some sparkly crystal? I want to put this little guy kind of looks like a flower that's kind of cute but I don't know what bead I want to put in there maybe just this crystal 
kind of do a little bit of both. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, let's give him a topper. Let's do one of these blueberries. See what that does. Oh, the blueberry's kind of cute. I just didn't know if I wanted to do another teal because we got a lot of other colors that are going to be incorporated into the necklace part of this and we don't want to just do teal. But maybe from right now. Tiny things. Ooh. He does not know if he even wants to go on there. So, okay, so for right now, I think I just need to have maybe a little metal on the top here. Do a bronze one. And I'm going to create a loop. Just get this out of my way for right now. I'm going to create a loop here, wire wrapped loop. To do a bigger loop at the top. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Battery's dying! To do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to switch my battery out because it's dying and we'll move on from there. Okay guys, I finished up the other part. My battery died. I switched it. So um, I just finished up this part here. I made this part a little bit longer just for funsies. Because why not? Right? And so now I'm going to add on my bird. So I believe my bird is going to fit uh, you could either add more jump rings or if you were cool enough to get your jump rings to work out the way you wanted them on here which I was not. So I'm just going to grab up two more jump rings I'm not concerned about that. I'd probably get away with doing one, actually. But we'll see how it looks, because I don't want it to hang funny. So, we've got four corners we can go into. I'm thinking I'm going to go right here into this jump ring. And this is kind of the cool part about this connector. It's like you can do a lot with it, you know? Now I got my other jump ring. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of letting it tell me where it wants to go here. And it's looking like probably. Right here in this chain piece, if I can get it in there. There we go. Now we'll just hold our breath and see if it hangs straight.
not quite yet. So, let me see if I can get it over into this other one. <clears throat> So a couple of options, you can add it, you can just move to a, the next strand over. You could add a bigger or smaller jump ring on one side, depending on, depending on how you want it to go. Um, that kind of thing. All right. So. Is now hanging straight. However, it's not really centered. But in my personal opinion, I think we can fix it. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to attempt to add another piece of chain to the one side to even it out. To do that, I'm going to take this little jump ring and I, mean, I don't know that it much matters which kind of chain I use. I'm just going to use this guy here. Go to the back and I'm going to attempt to attach this guy in here. Now we have an additional little chain piece. Which makes it appear like this is more centered. I mean, it obviously would have been better if it could have been right here, but I've already wire wrapped that on, so it is what it is. All right, pretty good out of 10. That one doesn't have anything on the bottom, so let me see what I got. Oh, if my one bird wasn't wonky, is this the wonky bird? Oh, no, it's a new bird. No wonky birds for us. <laughs> Alrighty.
I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Now. Let's zoom out here. Take a peek. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Now, honestly, I don't know that I would add a beaded chain. Could probably get away with adding one of these. Which would be cute. So this is an option, right? It's pretty cute. Um, this is also an option, just a regular old bronze chain. Because I think if we add too much beading up the top, it's going to be a little bit much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chain, but I am, um, I am going to use a few of these beads they provided. And I'm just going to cut this chain. going to cut some random pieces throughout this chain and add some of the beads because that's what we're doing. If you ever try to cut random pieces and then end up cutting the same size pieces you cut, they're like all the same. That happens to be a lot. <laughs> okay, so here are my random pieces of chain we will use and... And we'll just pick the beads that we want. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to the 22 gauge wire. Now you could do this on wire. You could do this on the soft flex that they provided. It's completely up to you. And we got kind of more teal in here. We've got the uh, we got the blue. We've incorporated the blue and the. Um, Dalmatian Jasper. So we do have that going for us. So I think I'm going to make these links kind of small because I don't really want them to stick out too much. So basically I'm just going to create a wire wrapped loop here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Wrap around about three times. you could wrap right onto your chain if you wanted. Sometimes I feel like I prefer to have the jump ring because it gives it a little more movement. So that's up to you. We're going to call that a design choice. And right here we're just going to start putting on our stuff. Whatever beads we decide we want to put on. Maybe I'll recreate this flower situation I made. That's kind of cool. A crystal. And if you put a bronze bead cap on the top of there, or a bronze metal bead. Again, these wraps can be as messy as you want them to be because that's kind of the goings ons with it here. Which is great for me because, you know, I don't really like to take the time to make perfect wraps. That's just me. I prefer when it can just be that way. <laughs> so I think I will make um, two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to make 10 of these connectors of some kind, and then we'll put them on.
Alright guys, we're going to start putting this bad boy together. And to do that, I'm going to start down here on the pendant and I'm going to attach with some jump rings. Now, if you want to attach the pendant with some larger jump rings, you just go right ahead. I am going to do that just for, I don't know, for safety, I guess. <laughs> just for fun. Use these bigger guys here. Connect on. And I'm just grabbing um, probably a shorter piece for this side. Close her up. Make sure she's on there good. And then we're just going to start building. We do these smaller ones. And I'm going to put on this guy. Now, how you connect these is up to you. You can do chain in between each, you can connect them to each other. You know, whatever you want to do. There's no rhyme or reason to it. We just got to get a little bit of length going on, which ain't going to be hard. I want this big piece of chain sitting in this little tiny part of the, or this big jump ring sitting in the, this little tiny part of the chain. So I just cut that off. And go here. Start building up the other side. I'm going to put that one on the other side. Because I have one on this side, so, you know, just for... Balance.
now I'm going to put on my lobster clasp. I'll put on one of these larger ones over here. So here's a cool thing about this. I was going to put this one on so people know like, oh, this is the end of the, you know, of the necklace. Uh, but you could also go into the chain wherever you want to go. Uh, so that's always an option as well. And the only thing left to do is to put on a few of these little, I don't know, I'm calling them grapes. I don't know what they are. These little hoop jobbies. These little guys here. And to do that, I'm just literally adding them with oval jump rings. Everything else is added with oval jump rings um, in this same size, so I'm not at all concerned about it. And these guys I might put here. Let's see. Move up the chain. Very good. And this one. Put him over here. That's pretty good. I should almost have a couple of more of those going up, honestly, but at least one more. I don't like the two thing. I'm not a twosie. <laughs> I'm not a twosie kind of girl. So let me get this, at least get the third one on there. I want him to be kind of gonna have a lot more, so I'm gonna go here. I don't know if I'm gonna like it in the same spot, but they're it's asymmetrical, so it might not end up actually in the same spot. Yeah, that's better. I mean you could go down closer to these guys and you know do something with those as well. It's just completely up to you. Alright. So, let me put this away and we are done with those and I'm going to show you the entirety of the project. So, So I'm pretty happy with it. I kind of squish this in. I think I'm going to move it back so that it can Let's see how we're hanging here. The balance okay? Oh yeah. The balance is fine. And then on the neck it's going to be you know, spread out like this. It's going to be okay. So there we go. That is the entirety of the necklace. I think it's pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. It's giving, uh, it's giving me vintage bird vibes. So that's cool. 
I mean, I guess probably because some of these parts are have birds and RTR cast and vintage. So there you go. Um, but anyway, so there we go. This is a super fun kit. It's kind of interesting to see what you end up with out of the Softflex um, mystery design kit. I did not see this one coming. I thought it was going to be not this. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm not talking about the kit. I'm talking about what came out of my creativity for myself. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be like a bracelet with those super duos, but this is, that's not what happened. And that's the fun part, isn't it? About creativity is just getting the kit and having it speak to you and doing whatever it is that, you know, that you need to do. So I still can also make these earrings, which I will probably do with these guys. Boom, boom, boom. With my earring wires that I have, but this has been quite the long video, so I'm going to call this a day. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, hang out with us in the morning coffee, do all the things, come to the Facebook group, all those things and stuff. Um, I don't know that I will do more with this kit, maybe, uh, but as of right now, I just plan on doing this one project. I hope you guys are all having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.